It's been about a year since the first case of COVID-19 was detected in Minnesota. And since then, life has changed and the virus has evolved. Even though we know more about this virus now than we did last March, there's still a lot of information to keep track of. So every week, we'll be asking experts about recent COVID developments. Let's start out with a viewer question. Linda asked, I had COVID-19 on November 13th. Could I get it again? How long does immunity last after getting the virus? Uh, we still are looking at about three to four months as far as that timeline for when your immunity is, is best. And we have had a few Minnesotans that have developed COVID a second time, you know, that reinfection, second infection. And we have even a few Minnesotans that have developed COVID after vaccination. But those cases should be very rare and those people will be minimally symptomatic. So very mild cases. Are there ways we can prepare our bodies for potential COVID-19 infection? The best prevention right now is the vaccine. And then along with uh, masking, uh, social uh, distancing and keeping things clean. The other things that we can do, you might say from inside out are to uh, keep yourself healthy. In other words, if you have current diseases, get them cared for, whether that's obesity, diabetes, heart disease, make sure you're as healthy as possible. I think there are probably a few other things that I think are key to basically setting yourself up for success against COVID, and they include uh, exercise, you know, so maintaining a healthy lifestyle helps. Along with that comes good sleep. You know, sleep habits are very important for preventing diseases. Maintaining a, a healthy mind, you know, that positive attitude is another one that can help people out. Is there a chance we could see another surge in cases in the spring and summer? And I understand a lot of uh, us want to get out. It's been a brutal cold uh, spell here in Minnesota, uh, but be very careful. Travel should be minimal. Try not to go too far away. If you do travel, be safe. You know, so uh, don't go into large crowds. You know, think small. Uh, think intimate with your family members and think safe spacing. Those are the things that are going to help us out to prevent, you know, a bigger spring or early summer surge for Minnesota. Minnesota has administered more than 1 million vaccine doses since December. How fast will the next 1 million doses get out to people? Think of it as a bell-shaped curve, you know, much like when we showed COVID on graphs early on, we looked at this bell-shaped curve where it was going to rise, peak, and then kind of come down. What I think we're going to see with our, our COVID vaccinations, we've had a little bit of this initial phase, and now we're at that bottom part of the curve. We can see we've been around 180,000 doses per week over the past month or so. And if we can double that, I think that is where we really can get to 2 million, 3 million, 4 million doses, you know, at least into this summer. And we will still on the tail end of that, we will have some people that are a little delayed, uh, might have missed them, might have been a little bit more reluctant, or their medical condition, you know, could have been such that we want to delay it a little bit, though those are very rare. And that's why we should be ready by this summer or at least early fall. 